Hi, thank you for coming to watch my video. Today I'm going to unbox a bunch of stuff from Map of the Soul on concert. I think it's on. I've been saying one, but whatever, because <laughs> it's online edition. So this is from the latest concert that was online. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff and yeah, let's just get into it. I took everything out of the box already because there were so many. I had six boxes of stuff and I had four orders and then my friend helped me get two more orders so I can get a lot of the mini photo cards, which are my fave. And she helped me get the backpack and tumbler. What should I open first? I'm going to open the hoodie first since it is probably one of the more simple things. Okay, so whenever I go to the concert, I always buy the hoodie. And I went to this concert, essentially, so <laughs> here's the hoodie for that. I got XL. Um, in the past, they only had size 1 and 2. I usually would buy size 2 and that would be enough room to zip up so hopefully this will fit well i don't wanna okay well i've ripped it okay so we have the bts logo here bts logo here the tag the official thing I usually keep the tags too I don't know why I think I saw a lot of people with collections keeping boxes and stuff like I never kept the box packaging like for army bomb or something like that but nowadays I'm like oh, I guess I have to keep it I don't know why <laughs> but okay so here is the map of the soul on E I'm just gonna say one and yeah okay i like how subtle it is i don't like like the anorak had just like map of the soul across the back and it looked cool but i would never wear that outside and the fact that i'm probably not going to wear this outside is a little sad it looks a bit long <laughs> to be honest it just looks really long but it does look wide enough um, I will try it on and leave a note in the description about how that fit. Let's keep going with the dang, clothing type of stuff and go ahead and do the backpack. So this order, oh, oh, okay, okay. This order had three of the mini PC packs, which I'm going to put to the side um and open those all together oopsie and the rest of the stuff the rest of the stuff so these two things are for my friend who helped me she has an unboxing channel on youtube too and her name's cricket so i will link it down below she helped me to buy the backpack and the tumbler set. So these are the two things that she got, so I'm not gonna open it, but I got this one too, so you'll see it later. Jin ring. And the mini backpack, which Hobie, of course, ended up wearing because this is like, I feel like he must have designed this by himself, but <laughs> like he requested a little mini bag or something because he just loves those things. But yeah, so this is pretty cute. And this is the they're like a baby and mama set all right so i'm gonna put those things aside and the backpack the reason i got that if you've watched me before you know i'm always buying things for the pcs oh and there the pcs go okay because i didn't necessarily need a backpack this is actually quite large this is a very wide backpack and has a really big front pocket I already have a plain black backpack, so I didn't feel like it was necessary. 
but it's not bad. It has a pocket for a laptop and it actually gets really wide. So if I were in school, this would be really decent to use for school stuff because I think it can fit a lot of books and your computer and all that. And this is really subtle. So I'll probably use this traveling. And this front pocket, like that's really convenient to put the things you need right away. So yeah, that, it's a really nice backpack. I like this color a lot, this like maroon color. And it has the BTS logo here, keychain or like a key ring holder. And you could also put one here too. And let's get into the pieces. <laughs> here are the photo cards that came with the backpack. They feel pretty glossy. You can see the, yeah, they're super glossy. The kind that kind of like stick together. But here we go. Let me show you closer. Where's a good angle? There we go. With the merch, they always do like a selfie style photo card. Ooh, that's pretty cute. So yeah, they just take like a selfie when they're taking the other merch pictures and that's usually what is on the photo card. Along with that, let's look at some other merch that I just bought for the photo card. <laughs> so this is another order that my friend helped me with and she got me the three photo cards and photo card sets and then this tumbler. It's actually quite small than I expected, but I wasn't really going to buy this. I didn't really have intentions to buy it, but I ended up just getting it anyway. Let's see the size. 350 milliliters, 11.8 ounces. So that's smaller than a Starbucks tall, which is 12 ounces. Yeah, so just a little under Starbucks tall size. So this is quite small actually. Um, I thought about splitting, I don't know how I'm going to open this. I thought about splitting it with somebody or maybe just selling the tumbler later, but it's not impractical. So the one, the things that came with PCs this time, backpack and tumbler. are things that I can use, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't really need, I guess. So here we go. Oh my. The PCs are like the exact size of the box, if you can see that. So they're a bit, the packaging is definitely a bit bent, but the cards look okay, I guess, I think. Let's see. Okay. So tumbler first <laughs> just comes in a plastic sleeve and it's not really like I guess it yeah it's just like an open bottle type of tumbler so you can put whatever liquid in there maybe it'd be good for soup like if you bring your lunch in winter or you can just drink out of it. It's probably good for water. If you can refill it often. Yeah, so pretty basic map of the soul. The color is not the red of the other things, but more of like a beige color, I guess. Most of the stuff is black and red. Even the pickets, the holder is black this time, which is interesting instead of like a clear-ish white. But yeah, this is like a brown, this is brown, and this is like a tan color. Interesting. But I guess that's the color of the mini photo card boxes and the other, like, outer packaging of a lot of the other merch. 
So here's the photo cards. Because the box width was just the same, the plastic is bent, but I think the photo cards look okay. So they are unit cards. They're a little bent here and a little wavy here. I don't know if you can see because they're so thin, but I can just flatten them. So here's one unit, Jimin, JK, and Namjoon. That's their names at the top. And then the other unit, looks like Tay took the picture. <laughs> so he's the biggest in the corner and Yoongi, Jin, and Hobi. And their names at the top too. This is the last small order I did. So at the end, I forgot. That's why the hoodie was by itself, <laughs> is because I forgot to order it at first. These days I make a spreadsheet of the merch that I wanna buy and then write like how much does it cost? How many of them do I want? If my friend helps me, then I write um, her name next to it so I remember that I didn't buy it and I owe her money. <laughs> so this is the Map of the Soul pin badge set, which I was debating on and then ended up buying at the end. So that's why it was an order by itself and the last thing that came in yesterday. Pin brooch set, brooch, brooch. But um, they had these for wings, but I think wings final in Japan had the this type of merch, but other concerts, they haven't done it for a while, as far as I remember. I don't own another one of these. I usually just buy the key rings, but my friend was like, it has Jin's picture on it, it's so cute. So I bought, <laughs> I'm a sucker, you got me. But it is really pretty though, actually. It's like super shiny and feels really solid. Let me take one out. Yeah, I don't know how. Okay. But it's like the similar charm style of the key ring, but it's on a pin. So these kind of things you can just attach to your bag. And I don't think it would, it wouldn't fall off as easily as a key ring could because it's pretty solid and this chain. So yeah, it's like a safe thing to put on your bag. But the sad thing is a lot of these things that I buy to put on my bag this whole year. We haven't been able to go to any concerts. Everyone knows why, <laughs> but I don't know. It's just like, then these things don't really have a use for me if I'm not putting it on my concert bag. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna abandon that task. Oh, there we go. So yeah, because I'm not really the type of person that puts my merch on things. If it's like kind of subtle-ish things, then I will. Like a key, I have the Armypedia purple puzzle key ring on my AirPods, but like I don't put these gin key rings on my bags unless I'm doing, oh, I'm ripping everything as I talk. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it out. Um, yeah, like unless I'm going to an event. Here's another one. So there's nothing wrong with decorating your stuff with merch, but I'm just not the type of person that does that. I don't know. There's all different kinds of fans, I guess. I like having this stuff and I like keeping it in my room. I like decorating my bag when I go to concerts or events, but I don't wear it on a daily basis. Here is the group premium photo, which is the first time that they did this. Oops, I'm not showing it all. And it is super gorgeous. If you've had or seen a premium photo before, it's the same type of, I don't know what to call this, like a cardboard backing. The photo printed on cardboard with these metal corners. And there's the label. So yeah, it's the first time that they did 
a group one and now they've been doing this since wings final which is where i bought my first i bought the first gin one there which was really exciting um but it's really inexpensive for what it is and really nice quality so i like buying them but now it's like i'm gonna have a whole gallery wall of them i guess <laughs> if they just release them for every concert and now they have a group one. Ooh. The subtle Jin Gook too. Jin. Very serious looking photo. His hand looks huge. He looks gorgeous. Okay, so two premium photos. The last order, <laughs> the last order that I have all together here. This is the big one that I made first if not I'm not sure if I I think maybe no I didn't end up buying any mini PCs on their own this order has a majority of the things that I wanted in it okay gather the mini PC first So three more, total count, one, two, three, four, 12, jeez, <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> I always buy a lot of mini PCs because it's, it's not that hard to trade, but I feel like, like for gin PCs, it's really easy for me to trade and get like a full, call it a Dragon Ball in Korea. So if you're ever searching for like a full set of PCs and you want to find it from a Korean seller, search that member plus Dragon Ball, Duball, and Duball, and um, you can find it. So it's really easy to get the Jin Dragon Ball with, if I just bought like eight sets, let's say, then I can maybe even just having two sets I could get a Jin Dragon Ball pretty easily but the member full member one group or unit photo cards that's the one that's harder so that's why I buy so many um I don't know if you watch my other one but maybe they changed it now <laughs> but remember the BBC merch like as soon as I opened the key ring it just fell straight off because they didn't do this so now they put this little sticker here so it doesn't just fall right out and I have a harder time taking it out but it is also safer I guess Wow this feels like really solid usually it's kind of just like acrylic materials this is acrylic the map of the soul tag Let me bring it closer this is acrylic but this is metal backed this gin and bts symbol metal so that's really nice this is like a really solid key ring um and then it has jin's face let me find the brooch so i can compare brooch i'm gonna keep pronouncing that wrong so sorry sorry <laughs> okay so the brooch has a black background and the key ring has a white background And I can't really see this because of film. He's kind of doing his little quokka smile there. And then this one is very serious. I guess I will eventually take that off anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, so this is really nice. I like this key ring. Next thing, let's do these. <laughs> so the way they advertised this was that they had one serious shot and one winking shot, but Jin's eyes are closed, so I would not consider that winking. <laughs> but they're kind of free falling in there. Maybe they're attached to something. But we have a can badge and cover set. So I thought that was kind of cool. 
When I went to Japan, I bought a bunch of can badge covers. Is it going to fall out? Yes. Um, I bought can badge covers because I have a few can badges now in my collection. So there they are. Serious, Big Jin, and Winking, Little Jin. So cute though, this is so cute. Um, usually they have can badges for Japanese merch. Oh, okay, and there's the covers. So a lot of the Korean concerts didn't have can badges until Map of the Soul, I guess. No, Love Yourself Lucky Draw, I think. I don't know, whatever. I think Love Yourself Final, Love Yourself Final. That's my final answer. Had can badges. So when I went to Japan the beginning of this year before everything went down, I bought these kind of covers. They're exactly like this actually. From But this one says Map of the Soul 1 on but this one is plain. Um, exactly like this, you can buy them in all different sizes from Daiso, so they're really cheap. Um, so I bought a bunch of those. Ah, uh, they weren't really free, but my the small one was free. They're meant to be on there. So I like that they're doing can badges now because they're fun, and another bag deco that I can't really use at the moment. Um, but I like that they came with the cover the best because I was always afraid of scratching it if I did put it on my bag and some of them I have two because I didn't want to get one to save and one to use like that. But if you've ever seen a fan <laughs> at a Japanese concert with um, just they have tons like they're covered their bag has like 10 of the same badge or something. It's really fun to me, but they get so many duplicates and love it. Okay, if I open this, then I am essentially going to rip the... sticker, whatever this is called. So, I must. This hurts me. <laughs> Okay, I bought this stand mirror again, let's say it together, for the PCs. But I think it's actually a, a postcard. But the mirror itself is not a bad merch. Again, not a bad merch. But not something I needed. Okay, so it says Map of the Soul on E. here hello to my camera and my ceiling so this oh this slot is where the photo card can go and how do you even ah so you can tent it like this and have have the postcard there or face the mirror But this is a really nice material. I think it's like leather, if not faux. Let me check. Okay, unless I'm missing something, I can't see what material it is. Let's get to the good stuff. I think it's supposed to be the same size as photo set photos. You can fit other things into that mirror as well. Here it is closer. Cute little group photo, same setup as the premium photo, but less serious. They look very happy. And I'm gonna save the lucky draws too because those are like randoms. So let's open those last. Jim Pickett. So I'm not gonna open it all the way. Eh, why not? Let's open it. These days, so since Mox Merch, they started adding this little guy. 
and now it's in I do like that Weaver's shop seems to be improving with every complaint. <laughs> so like these thingies, I guess a lot of them got broken in transit. So now they put it in a little bubble bag. Yeah, so it is gin. And then it comes with, is it focusing? gin and it comes with this the chain so you just hook the chain through and put it in the bottom part of the picket um, so I'll go ahead and do that it has a film on it but I will save that for later so just thread it through These are hard. Okay. And here's the picket. Like I said a little earlier, the pickets are all, well, the back is matte black and then the handle is opaque black as well. And all of the other pickets are, did I say transparent, opaque? Yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. It's not see-through and it's black but the other pick pickets are see-through ish cloudy white or a clear color so that's a little different he is so cute and i love his smile so there's the gin one and then now they have the group one there are a few other group ones so they started that a while ago I won't do the whole shebang with that right now. And here's the group one. I love a group picket because they're all just like circled around each other and they're so freaking cute. Yeah, so same as before. A little hole at the bottom to put this one says BTS now and put that on. Let's reveal who we got for Lucky Draw now. So this time Lucky Draw is an acrylic stand, which I don't know how I feel about that. I did really like the magnets that they were doing and the pin. They were doing those pins for a while, but now, or they did a couple, I guess. Who will it be? Who will it be? Jungkook? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna take it out because you can tell who it is like that. So if I don't get Jin, then I'm gonna trade for Jin. But we got Jungkook. They're so cute, they're just sitting, sitting there. This one is Namjoon. Can you see his face? Okay, wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, <laughs> so we got so far Junie and JK. Put that there. And drum roll, please. Who is the last one? I don't want to have to trade. Yoongi! Okay, I got a Yoongi. All right, so from the three ones, I didn't get any duplicates, which is nice. Yungi, Namjoon, JK. So I'm gonna try to find a Jin trade for one of these. And yeah, get a little stand. So let me put these to the side. Last thing on this whirlwind adventure is the mini photo cards. <laughs> so like I said earlier, I bought a lot. You can see that right here. But what I'm really hoping for is just like with how weavers improved the this thing putting it in a little baggie i'm hoping if you saw my um, bbc merch video or anybody else really 
they had so many duplicates and there are actually three it ended up being three photo set photos that didn't even exist in korea like three people got them pretty much or just everybody that got them needed it so nobody got like an even amount of these three photo cards which were yoongi two three and jimin four so i ended up having to trade those in america <laughs> for those but yeah so i'm really hoping these are better <laughs> but luckily i think bbc followed more of like a muster merch kind of uh how can i say it muster merch pattern i guess because they for muster merch there's usually like mini pc and the another type of photo card like the player set or cloud cards guest book photos etc and bbc had the message cards and then they also have the photo set photo but this concert there's only one set of random photo cards so yay or one type i guess these mini photo cards let me quickly go through opening the rest of these i'll just speed it up let's go we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve sets to go through so <laughs> I might end up speeding this up, so I won't talk that much during this. Cute. They have this line at the back. And they're matte, which is interesting. This is the same, but the gin is different. Hmm. 
and the yunk okay so just this is the same it looks like but the rest of the cards are not dupes so that's good Last set. Okay, so not too bad. What I'm gonna do is take out all of the unit and gin cards, which I guess I should have done from the beginning to see which ones I still need. So I'm only missing two gins two and three and for the units i don't know for units i'm missing four and seven not bad at all okay so that's it for my haul i just need to get a gin acrylic stand somehow and finish the mini pieces i'm only missing four total from the 12 set so not too bad and I the only thing that I wasn't able to get that I wanted from this haul was a postcard book which I got on the second sale so I might do an unboxing of that later but anyways thank you for watching this video it's probably very long but thanks for sticking with it and opening with me bye bye